Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Weather, Climate and Adaptations of Animals to Climate. Question number 1. Animals which use two limbs for locomotion are called Option A. Tripeds. Option B. Bipeds. Option C. Quadrupeds. Option D. Unipeds. The correct answer is Option B. Bipeds. Animals which use two limbs for locomotion are called bipeds. Question number 2. Desert plants like underscore store water in their stems for later use. Option A. Cactus. Option B. Mango. Option C. Pistia. Option D. Hibiscus. The correct answer is Option A. Cactus. Desert plants like cactus store water in their stems so that they can use this water during extreme conditions. Question number 3. Which of the following cannot be calculated using the daily maximum and minimum temperature values? Option A. Average yearly rainfall. Option B. Average yearly temperature. Option C. Mean monthly temperature. Option D. Annual temperature. The correct answer is Option A. Average yearly rainfall. The daily maximum and minimum temperatures can be used to calculate the daily temperature range, mean daily temperature, mean monthly temperature, mean yearly temperature and annual temperature. Question number 4. Rashmi wants to measure the temperature of an object. She can easily do this using A. Option A. Wind vane. Option B. Thermometer. Option C. Rain gauge. Option D. Hygrometer. The correct answer is Option B. Thermometer. Temperature is measured with a thermometer. Question number 5. Which factor can be used to study the climate of the past? I analysis of sediment layers 2 analysis of fossilized pollen and glaciers 3 analysis of annular rings of old tree trunks. Option A. 1 and 2. Option B. 2 and 3. Option C. 1 and 3. Option D. 1, 2, 3. The correct answer is. Option D. 1, 2, 3. Analysis of sediment layers, fossilized pollen and glaciers and annular rings of old tree trunks can be used to study the climate of the past. Question number 6. Which adaptation helps volant animals to minimize air resistance while flying? Option A. Pointed beak. Option B. Light feathers. Option C. Streamlined body. Option D. Conical head. The correct answer is Option C. Streamline body. A streamline body helps volant animals to minimize air resistance while flying. Question number 7. Which of the following indicates the relation between temperature and humidity correctly? Option A. As temperature increases, humidity increases. Option B. As temperature decreases, humidity increases. Option C. As humidity increases, temperature increases. Option D. As humidity decreases, temperature increases. The correct answer is. Option A. As temperature increases, humidity increases. As temperature increases, the rate of evaporation increases. This causes more vapor to be formed, thereby increasing humidity. Question number 8. Which of the following is preferably used in a thermometer? Option A. Mercury. Option B. Sodium. Option C. Lead. Option D. 
copper the correct answer is option a mercury mercury is used in thermometers to measure temperature question number 9 why does a puffer fish blow its body like a balloon option a to evade predators option b to drink more water option c to threaten other fish option d to swim in deep oceans The correct answer is Option A. To evade predators, a puffer fish blows its body like a balloon to protect itself and evade predators. Question number 10. Animals which are capable of sustained flight and descend to the ground only for feeding are called underscore animals. Option A. Volant. Option B. Terrestrial. Option C. Arboreal. Option D. Aerial. The correct answer is Option A. Volant. Volant animals are capable of sustained flight and descend to the ground only for feeding. Question number 11. Which of the following birds have long legs as an adaptation? Option A. Ostrich. Option B. Vulture. Option C. Eagle. Option D. Penguin. The correct answer is Option A. Ostrich. Ostriches have long legs to run and escape from their predators. Question number 12. Animals which spend most of their time on trees are called underscore animals. Option A. Arboreal. Option B. Terrestrial. Option C. Volant. Option D. Aerial. The correct answer is Option A. Arboreal. Animals which spend most of their time on trees are called arboreal animals. Question number 13. Underscore live in burrows to escape the scorching heat of the sun. Option A. Foxes. Option B. Rabbits. Option C. Kangaroo rats. Option D. Snakes. The correct answer is Option C. Kangaroo rats. Kangaroo rats live in burrows to escape the scorching heat of the sun. Question number 14. Which fish can blow its body like a balloon? Option A. Puffer fish. Option B. Goldfish. Option C. Guppy. Option D. Blobfish. The correct answer is Option A. Puffer fish. A puffer fish can blow its body like a balloon to evade predators. Question number 15. A underscore is used to measure the direction of wind. Option A. Wind vane. Option B. Rain gauge. Option C. Anemometer. Option D. Hygrometer. The correct answer is Option A. Wind vane. A wind vane is used to measure the direction of wind. Question number 16. Which statement about rainfall is not true? Option A. Monthly rainfall refers to the sum of the mean daily rainfall for 365 days. Option B. Annual rainfall can be calculated using monthly rainfall. Option C. Excess of rainfall causes floods and loss of property. Option D. Rainfall is measured using a rain gauge. The correct answer is Option A. Monthly rainfall refers to the sum of the mean daily rainfall for 365 days. Monthly rainfall refers to the sum of the mean daily rainfall for 30 days. Question number 17. Fish respire with the help of their Option A. Gills. Option B. Lungs. Option C. Skin. Option D. Spiracles. The 
The correct answer is Option A Gills Fish take in oxygen from the water through their gills Question number 18 Force of wind is measured with Option A Wind vane Option B Anemometer Option C Rain gauge Option D Hygrometer The correct answer is Option B Anemometer Force of wind is measured with an anemometer Question number 19 Which of the following animals have long necks as an adaptation? Option A Pig Option B Giraffe Option C Camel Option D Cheetah The correct answer is Option B Giraffe Giraffes have developed long necks as an adaptation over a period of time to enable them to eat leaves of trees. Question number 20 The measure of the amount of water vapor in the air is called Option A Vapor pressure Option B Temperature Option C Humidity Option D Moisture content The correct answer is Option C. Humidity. The amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonder Slate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.